The growing industry of shark finning and the rising number of shark species in the endangered list is a global problem. According to experts, the GCC region has a huge role to play in stepping up conservation efforts. Over 50 experts have come together in Dubai to discuss the plight of sharks, as well as how governments and the private sector can effectively address the issue. Khadija Sali has this report. The worldwide shark population has seen a decline between 70 to 80 percent, according to experts. In the region, hammerhead sharks are among the most threatened. The primary factors include the increasing demand for shark fins, widely used in the Chinese delicacy shark fin soup. Despite the UAE being among the top 15 hubs for shark fin trade, providing Hong Kong 170,000 to 1 million kilograms per annum, the government has already made efforts to protect sharks. This region also plays an important role, for example, as a nursery for hammerhead sharks. So I think it's great that this is happening, and I hope that this region is su supporting more shark protection. And I also hope that this region is going to help in the international push, which will be next year in Bangkok, to protect more species of sharks. We learned today that the UAE is on the fourth position in the trade of shark fins. So it does play an important role as a hub. And it seems like a lot of the sharks are not caught here. They are imported from other countries, like, for example, from Oman. And uh, so it is, it's very good if UAE looks into this and uh, starts to manage this trade as well. In the UAE, a ban on shark finning is already in place. In addition to this, shark fishing between January and April is prohibited to give them a respite during the breeding season. However, there are those who continue to flout the rules. This photograph shows 45 full-term pups have been removed from a hammerhead at the fish market. We can see that there's already quite some advanced legislation in place which is very good. Some of the legislation is more advanced than, for example, in Europe. And what needs more to happen is basically more enforcement needs to happen. It seems like that there's a lack of enforcement, not only in this region, also in other regions of the world, but in this one too. So here needs to be a big push that it's enforced and that there's also the appropriate fines are introduced. Overall, it's important to conserve these populations for, uh, for a variety of reasons. They provide, obviously, protein for a lot of the, a lot of the world. Um, but that protein source cannot be sustainable if the fisheries aren't managed very carefully. There are also, in some parts of the world, as we heard today, recreational opportunities for sharks and uh, increasingly tourism interest in swimming, diving with sharks can yield great f financial, economic benefits in coastal communities. And then from the ecological aspect, we know that most sharks are top predators in the marine ecosystem. So they're very important for controlling prey populations and basically keeping the oceans healthy. The rising urgency to protect sharks has given way to the first conservation workshop in the region. Organized by the International Fund for Animal Welfare, the UAE's Ministry of Environment and Water, together with SharkQuest Arabia. We're looking for a change in how we enforce those, those finning bans and encouraging countries to pass rules that say you have to keep the shark's fins attached to the shark. And actually we're seeing that policy, that best practice is in place in the UAE and that is a model for other countries around the world, particularly big shark fishing nations like Spain and Portugal. Accurate data is still lacking for the UAE and the region, according to experts, which is critical in moving forward with conservation efforts. We now have 30 species of sharks confirmed from the Arabian Gulf. Uh, probably half of these sharks have been listed by IUCN as near threatened in other populations around the world, but we don't have regional assessments, so we don't really know what's going on with these populations here. So the main thing that I would like to stress is that we need more research and uh, more enforcement in terms of uh, trying to determine what is really happening with the fishery and the trade in the UAE. The first step is research, but we're not going to get anywhere with research unless we actually have programs that are running in parallel that deal with uh, educating people, creating awareness. But we also need the support of governmental institutions to put together new legislations and 
monitor and enforce these legislations within the country. So uh, research is just the first step. We also need to move forward. And uh, we're hoping that with this workshop, actually, because we've got so many government representatives, not just from the UAE, but from the region, we can try and determine what is actually going on and move forward. The four-day summit hopes to change the negative public perception on these important, slow-growing and late-maturing animals. It provided governments and scientists across the region a platform to find better ways to protect sharks, while raising more public awareness, calling for stronger rules and enforcement. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.